Hello everybody, Antoine here from Smoke Architecture and welcome back to the channel. So today we're building the Croft Manor inspired from um, the Tomb Raider games and from the Hatfield House in the UK which is one of the inspiration for the Croft Manor. And today we're building the exterior of this manor because this is really a big project so I didn't want to do like a 40 minutes video so that's why I decided to split the project in two videos so one for the exterior and one for the interior so um, I could tell you more about the inspiration of this build uh, actually I'm a, or I was a big player of several games and Tomb Raider were always games that I really enjoyed on, on all platforms, PC, consoles or even Nintendo DS. <laughs> I remember I played uh, Tomb Raider Legend on Nintendo DS when I was like 12 years old or something like this and I really always had good memories playing those games because I'm really into history and I really loved um, the character of Lara Croft with all the um, family background, all the um, you know archaeological stuff and so on. I really like it and the games were always the opportunity to travel the world to discover some um, beautiful places, lost temples and so on. And yeah, I remember the stories were always really thrilling with those bad guys who are trying to to steal all those artifacts uh, found in temples and so on. So yeah, those are really games that have a special place in my heart and it's been a long time since I didn't play Tomb Raider and when I will have a good PC I'm sure I will play the new Tomb Raider games that look really amazing, especially the rise of the Tomb Raider and all the series of games that are really fantastic. And yeah, I really love the, the, the twist that the series um, is taking and I think this is pretty interesting. So I decided to create the manor because this is a building that I really loved. If you've already played the Tomb Raider games, you remember that in each game there's um, it's kind of a, yeah, it's a level or practice level you can actually explore the manor and there are many things to explore, many treasures to find, many secrets and you are actually able to go everywhere you want and it was always something that I really liked uh, in these games because I was already a architecture fan and the craft manor is always really interesting and it's so vast, there's so many things to see and yeah, I really, I really spent a lot of hours in the manor and depending on the game, the manor can be pretty different. And um, this one is from Tomb Raider Legend, if I remember well, which is inspired by the Hatfield House, as I told you, which is a beautiful country house in the UK. So yeah, I didn't pick, I didn't take picture of uh, Tomb Raider, but of um, Hatfield House and yeah this was my main inspiration so of course I was limited by the size of the lot which is a 64 by 64 we can't have any bigger lot but yeah I really tried to do my best on this lot and it would have been really better to have like a 128 by 128 but yeah it doesn't exist and I think this is something we will never have in The Sims 4 because uh, 64 by 64 was always the biggest lot in all the games so yeah so this house is really a mix of several styles which is something that I really enjoy and I use many items from Felix Sanders I'm sorry that I'm using custom content but I think with that custom content it wouldn't it wouldn't have looked as good as it looked now and probably I could try to create a CC free interior but I'm not sure it would be cool good so yeah the interior is gonna be CC free I guess because they're the interior is pretty interesting in the matter because um, there are those old wood panels old stone walls and so on but 
The furnitures are always pretty contemporary and I really love the contrast that you can find, especially in Lara Croft's bedroom. If you have already been there, um, they're quite modern furniture, but with one again, there's um, old flooring, old floor, um, sorry, um, wood panels on the walls. And yeah, this is something I'm going to try to do in the interior in the next part. And I already, uh, already have a lot of ideas uh, of what I can do. So the exterior is pretty big. It took me a lot of time and I didn't record every single part because it would have been a bit boring. First of all, because the building is symmetrical, so I only record one side of the building and the other one I did it off camera because it was only copy and paste, so it's nothing too interesting for you. It was the same for the garden, which is really symmetrical. And um, yeah, so it's really a massive build. Like uh, once it was done, like the house is really empty. There's no wall inside, there's nothing. It's like a big empty box and it's already worth more than 700,000 simoleons, which is absolutely huge. So I guess when I will furnish everything, it will be worth more than one million and a half or something like this. Because it's so huge, there's so many things to do. And I already have a lot of ideas of things that I want to recreate, some uh, iconic things in the, um, in the Tomb Raider games, for example, I don't know if you remember this, but there's a butler in the game and you were able to uh, lock, him, lock him in the um, fridge and I will try to recreate the kitchen and this big fridge. And also the swimming pool is something really important in a manner I think it will be underground because it's like a part headed um, after the construction of the of the manor. And also there is a big training um, gym room. I don't know how to call it, but it's always something really important in the game. So I will recreate this uh, and I think it will be in the underground, in the basement as well. So yeah, um, yeah, I also have the idea, you know, when you enter the manor, if you've already played the game, you remember there's a big entry hall with um, some fireplaces, a um, living room area and there's a big staircase, which I don't know how I'm going to recreate it because it's kind of complicated to create such staircases in The Sims 4, but we'll see. And yeah, so on the opposite side of the staircase, there is like a big um, glass panel. And behind it, there is like the computer area where, um, how is how is it called again? Um, I don't remember, but there's this guy who's working with Lara, you know, is always um, connected to Lara and he can tell her what to do, where to go. And this guy has his working station in the main hall with um, a lot of computer things and so on. So I think it would be cool to recreate it and it will bring a modern touch to the manor because as I told you, the manor consists of a mix of ancient and modern and also with the new expansion pack um, jungle adventure we have a lot of exotic items or artifacts so it's gonna be really interesting to put it in the manor because if you remember in the manor there are many objects from different civilization and from different cultures so that's definitely something I want to do because the Croft family is really a family of um, people who are really into archaeology, yeah, and they're collecting a lot of different items, so it's something I want to do. Like, it's both a manor and a private museum at the same time, so yeah, it's definitely something you have to, to do when you create the craft manor. And I wanted to say something else, but I forgot. Um, what did I want to say? I don't remember. Um, 
I don't know. Yeah. Um, no, 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 I don't know. <laughs> um, to be honest, it's really a big project, but I spent only probably four hours to build the server because I was really excited about it and I built it like in one time. I just didn't quit the, quit the game, exit the game. I stayed there for hours and built it because I was really excited. And now with the new copy and paste tool, it's really easier to create some big symmetrical um, builds. So yeah, it was something that I really enjoyed. You know, sometimes when I'm building something really big, I'm a bit, well, exhausted and bored because it's really big and really repetitive. But this time it was really enjoyable and I would do it again. So yeah, uh, the garden, yeah, the garden, the garden is not really big because of the size lot. And so on the front yard, there is this really French garden with uh, fountain sculptures, really symmetrical. So you have two different areas, which is which are actually really identical. And the backyard is more natural looking, even if they're really a symmetry once again, but yeah, it's more natural looking. It's open to the nature because this lot is in Windenburg, which I think was the best world to build a craft matter because it kind of looks like the, um, the um, English countryside. So it was the best option, I think. So yeah, the exterior is more natural, even in terms of um, building and architectural elements. It's more, it's it's less heavier, it's less heavy, sorry, than the front side. And yeah, I would like to thank once again um, the amazing Felixander for creating all this content because he really created the content that I wanted to see in The Sims for many years and it's such a beautiful thing to play with such items because when you're really into old mansions like me, this is really the best items you can wish and yeah, this is fantastic because I, you won't see it but I tried first to create this house without custom content. Um, and it really, it was really different from what I imagined, and I couldn't find a way to, to make it look realistic. Even with the columns and so on, there is not enough choice in The Sims 4, I believe. And yeah, that's why I decided to go for a um, version with custom content. So, and as you know, with Alexander content, uh, I can share it with you because this is not free custom content is working really hard on his content and you have to support it on Patreon uh, if you want to have an access to the download link that will enable you to download this content. It's not expensive actually, it goes from $1 to $20 a month. Uh, I decided to go for the $5 option, which is really nothing like $5 a month. What is it? I mean. With YouTube, I earn about fifty dollars a month. Though I think this like an, an investment I can do with the YouTube money, and this is really interesting because it makes my game uh, better, richer, and I know you love it when I'm building some historical places. So this is really something I like to do, like supporting this guy, creating this amazing content. So yeah, so if you're really into those elements, if you watch the video and you're like, wow, this is so beautiful, I want to build such things, go for it. Um, Felix Hunter has a page in Patreon, that's where you can support him. And once you're subscribed to the content, to, to his page, sorry, you will have a link to download this content and you won't regret it, I promise. So uh, I'm really excited about the part two of the building. Um, first thing first, I will have to do the floor plan, which is as always going to be a nightmare. I think I will do it off camera because the floor plan is really something boring, I guess. And then I will record 
some rooms, probably not all the rooms, especially the bedrooms, because I think there will be plenty of bedrooms. And it's a bit boring to see like 20 bedrooms. Well, I think there won't be 20 bedrooms because it's way too much, but even eight bedrooms, it's a lot of repetitive things. So I will record only the main rooms, the most beautiful rooms, just to, yeah, to make it more enjoyable. So I'm really excited about building the part two and yeah, I really l hope you like this first part. Um, I really had fun building it, so I hope you liked it. If, it. if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye.